Hey guys, sorry for a long delay, I don't want to make any excuses, so let's jump right into my next advice for you. While filling in an application might seem easy, uh, since I think most universities have an online application system, it is not as easy to put all the supporting papers together. Usually universities, in addition to the application itself, require an essay, official high school transcripts, it's a grace for the last three years, uh, recommendation letters, uh, test of English as a foreign language results, and possibly set and act score. I would personally suggest to search for universities that do not require set and act scores for international students. Health certification of finances, declaration of finances, health forms. The last three you can send in after you have already been admitted. Not hard if you have everything planned and knew about everything beforehand. If you need an assistance with something specific, uh, tweet me or write in the comments below. Now, test of English as a foreign language or TOEFL. This is the thing people have the most trouble with. You need to get at least 80 points for a regular college and uh, 100 and more for a top 10 one. I didn't find out I needed the results before it was too late and I needed them as soon as possible, two weeks before the next exam. So I literally had no time to prepare. But I did it! I got my 85 points and I needed at least 79. So woohoo! Read about the format of the test first, it will come handy. Here's a few tips which really helped me. First, bear watches to the exam. It's really important to calculate your time and spend it wisely. It's all about time. You need to spend 20 minutes on each part of reading. Since it's not a lot, you better not read texts. Yes, you heard me right. Do not read texts or you won't have any time left. You'll get to know the plots by doing the questions, so go straight to it. Secondly, listening part is really exhausting, but it was the easiest one for me. The thing is, you do not see the exercise and the questions before you have already listened to the lecture or a dialogue. The only tip really is to write everything down, everything you can find helpful or draw things and personal experience might be useful too. If I knew about this before, I actually wouldn't be as nervous or think that I had failed everything. The actual thing is you don't have to say the whole thing you need to say on time. Even if you don't have time left uh, but you were actually talking, speaking good, coherently, you will get the needed points. I got 20 out of 30 for this, but I was really freaking out and I even whispered fuck once, so be calm. And finally writing. It contains two parts. The first part is writing a summary of a lecture you have to listen to and an article. The second part is writing an essay opinion and that's about it. You can find the format of writing an essay and summary anywhere online so i can't really help with that thank you for watching i hope i help someone with their struggles the third part will be hopefully out soon so bye until next time i literally 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 the third part hopefully будет да я перешла на русский почему бы и нет